In this week's episode, I'm printing really small on a big printer. Stay tuned for more right here on Filling It Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. My wife asked me if I could print the Niffler from the movie Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and also the case that Newt Scamander carried around. But the catch was she wanted them printed in miniature, like one inch scale. And she wanted them printed on my big CR-10 because she's seen the great quality I'm getting off that machine. So I went to Thingiverse and she helped me find this. It was a Niffler by user Ben3D. It looked fantastic. And then she found this case, which was a hinged, mini hinged Pelican case. She said this would work because she was going to modify it with some paint. So it was my job to figure out how to print them. I loaded the Niffler, which is 130 millimeters tall, into Simplify 3D and then made a copy. And these guys just look like they're dancing, don't they? So what I did is I selected one of them and I'm going to shrink it down just to see how small this is compared to the original file. So I set it to 32 millimeters, which is actually an inch and a quarter. That was her first request. And once I did that, look at how much smaller this thing. It's just significantly smaller. So I didn't know if this was going to work. So I'm just going to get rid of the original here. So I'll just click on it and then delete. And then there's the new one. Let me zoom in and well center first and then I'll zoom in and let's look at the detail. And so far it's looking good. It's looking good. I'm not seeing any pits or holes. It looks like it's shrunk down. I don't know how well it's going to slice, but it looks good from, you know, this perspective. So now I need to edit the process settings to print this. And I'm going to use the CR10 like she requested and PLA, a black PLA and 30% fill, a 0.1 layer height with three top and bottom and three outer perimeter shells. I am going to use a raft because there's going to be support. Infill is, like I said, 30%. Uh, support, I am, whoops, I am using support, and I'm, but I'm only doing it from the build platform. So right over here I clicked on support type and from the build platform only. Then for temperature, I'm using a 40 degree C bed. And this is inland PLA, and I find you got to run this a little bit hotter. So I run at 215 degrees C. I do have the cooling fan on after the first layer at 100%. And I'm running at 40 millimeters per second, so I slowed it down a little bit. So this looked good, so I clicked on Prepare to Print. And Simplify 3D went to work. Now I didn't know how this would turn out, because I shrunk it down so much. Would it handle it? And... It looks good in the picture here. You can see the raft is in purple, the gray is the support material, and the Niffler is in blue. So hopefully it prints as good as this thing looks. So that's up to the CR-10. And this is saying it's going to take 1 hour and 36 minutes and a little over 2 meters of plastic. So off to the CR-10. And here's a quick time lapse of it. You can see how small this is on the bed and tell you the truth it's looking really good from what I can tell it looks just like it did in Simplify 3D with a few extra nerds here and there so I started to break away the uh, raft hoping that would pull some of the support material with it but it really didn't it broke away from the support material and from there then I had to break away the the pieces so underneath the hand it broke away pretty smoothly here but the middle section was giving me a little bit of resistance. So I went to the other hand and that one just popped right off. Now once I pulled the rest of the strings off the bottom of the feet then it seemed to allow me to break off the raft or the, uh, the rest of the supports. Now there was a bunch of little nerds and string stuff so I got out the hot air gun and just blew on it and that, that gets rid of 90% of those little strings. And then I use a painter's knife to just run against it and scrape away anything just kind of flick away anything that's left over. And when it was done Look at this thing. It looks really good. Now this is the one that's 32 millimeters, which is about an inch and a quarter tall. And she wanted one smaller and one bigger, so I printed an inch tall on the left and an inch and a half on the right. So she was happy with that, and while that was going on, I went to Prusa Control, and I loaded up the suitcase, and I printed this at a .15 layer height, 20% fill, with support only from the build plate with a brim. And then I sliced it inside Prusa Control, and this goes to the Slit 3R or Slicer 
slicer. And once it was done, it gives you this look of the layers. So you have to move the slider, at least that's the only way I know, you move the slider to see if the layers look good and everything as best I could tell look good. So I loaded this onto the Prusa i3 SD card and with the same, with some brown PLA, inland PLA, with the same settings, uh, temperature settings. And here's the result. It came out really good. I had one corner that rounded up a little bit, but overall it was fantastic. And then she went to work and look at this. She painted up the little niffler. She painted up the case. She added a gold chain and a ruby to his hand because, you know, he steals gems and stuff. And look at inside the case, she's got a 3D effect for uh, Newt's workshop and then more coins that the niffler had got. And just to show you how small this is, look at that. There's a, that's a U.S. quarter behind it. So this was tiny, incredibly tiny, and she was really happy with the results. I'm impressed with how well the CR-10 and the Prusa MK2S did on these tiny prints. These tiny prints turned out amazing on this big machine and on the Prusa. I'm really happy with the results, but more importantly, so is my wife. She did a great job in making these. So that's it for this week. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of these other videos popping up. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. And if nothing else, please subscribe. Click on the logo. That's it. I'll see you next week on Film of Friday.